You know, the Bible says that judgment belongs to the Lord. Not to us. We're all sinners saved by grace. So we should not see ourselves as better than. Or others as inferior to. We should not be condescending when we speak of others. Again, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. We, we can judge others. We, we can use discernment. We can evaluate a person and their lifestyle according to Scripture. That's our standard, the Word of God. We can tell people what the Word of God says about them and about the way they're, they're living we can apply the truth of Scripture and we should apply the truth of Scripture and we should deliver the truth to people, but we shouldn't be judgmental when, when we do it or have a, a, a self-righteous attitude or a virtuous attitude. I'm more virtuous than you are. Remember the religious leaders who some of them are in this audience listening to this sermon that Jesus delivered on that hillside, some of the religious leaders, they, they looked down upon others. They, they believed they were better than others. They, they were judgmental. They were self-righteous. Uh, for example, the Gospels tell us they despised Jesus because he ate with sinners and tax collectors. He, he eats with tax collectors and filthy sinners. And those self-righteous religious leaders would never eat a meal with a tax collector or a filthy sinner. So now verse 2 says, the attitude that we have in judging others will be the standard by which we are judged. That's what verse 2 is saying. The attitude that we have in judging others will be the standard by which we are judged. Now that, listen, that should cause us to be less critical of others. Less condescending. Look at verse 3. <clears throat> now watch verse 3. Jesus says, again, he's giving this sermon on the hillside. There's thousands of people gathered there listening to this sermon and he says, now, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eyes, in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Now, give me your attention just for a moment. This is Jesus using humor in a sermon. Isn't that great? I think that's cool. You know, sometimes Jesus is portrayed in movies as just this, you know, kind of stoic, uh, bland uh, whatever, you know, no, no, no personality kind of thing, like a robot, you know, but, uh, but he, he uses humor in a, in a sermon here, this, this funny illustration that he gives. Why do you look at the speck in, his, in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, hey, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye. You hypocrite. First, remove the plank from your own eye. Then you will see clearly, that's important, to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Now look back in verse 3. In verse 3, Jesus says, Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? And if you're a note taker, the word look there, it means to gaze upon. Or to be fixed upon. I'm, I'm fixed on the speck. In my brother's eye. That's, that's all that I see when I look at him. I just see that speck. That's all that I think about when I think about him. That's all that I talk about when I talk about him. That's all that I'm focused on. You mentioned that guy's name. Let me tell you about the speck in his eye. Man, I saw, I was just talking to him. And you would not believe the speck. That it, it's, that, that I'm just, I'm fixed upon the speck. But then you look at the verse again, the word consider there in verse three, you do not consider the plank in your own eye. The word consider means to perceive. To perceive. In other words, I don't see the two by four in my own eye. I don't see it. 
when I look at that other person, all I see is the speck that's there, and it's driving me crazy. And at the same time, I don't see this two by four that's jammed in my own eye. Isn't it interesting how we can get so fixed on someone else's sin and at the same time be so completely blind to our own sin? And sometimes it's the same sin. We're doing the exact same thing. And we don't even see it. Now, others see it. It's obvious to everyone else around because it's a two by four. But somehow I don't see it. I don't see it in myself. And you, you, you have experienced that where you've been around someone. And you see their sin. They, 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 they speak in a certain way and you kind of cringe. They say something and you, you see it, but they don't see it. And we, we, we but in the end, at the same time, we see that little speck of dirt in that other person's life. And in fact, that's all that we see when we look at that person, just that little speck of dirt. And we think that little speck of dirt in that other person's eye, that's the problem. And if we just deal with that speck of dirt, and we get rid of that speck of dirt, if we fix her, I fix him, well, then everything will be good. Every, everything will go back to normal. Everything, then, then, then we'll be happy. And we'll, we can be so critical and judgmental of that little speck of dirt that that other person has, and all the while, we don't see the plank in our own eye. We don't see our own problems. We don't see our own shortcomings. We don't see our own sin that is contributing to the breakdown in the relationship. And look what he says in verse 5 again. Again, hypocrites. First, remove the plank from your own eye. And then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Now, Jesus does not say here, well, because you have a plank in your own eye or because you have sin in your own life that you need to deal with, well, then you can't say anything to the other person about their sin. You just need to keep your, your, your mouth shut. There's nothing at all you can do because they've got their sin. You've got your sin. There's nothing at all to do. No, he says, first of all, first, you remove your plank so that you may see clearly. Then you can remove the speck from your brother's eye. And this is so important what he's saying here especially when it comes to relationships. Jesus says, first, deal with your sin. Deal with your sin. Then you can help the other person with their sin. Now, so often we have the attitude of, well, no, I just need to deal, deal with their sin. We don't need to bring up the plank in my eye. We don't need to talk about the plank in my eye. The plank in my eye has nothing to do with what's going on here. Don't even mention it. Let's talk about the speck in their eye. That's what we need to focus on. That's what we need to talk about. That's where the real problem is. It's with the speck, not the plank in my eye, but the speck in, in, in their eye. 